all right. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. I'm also known as the mighty, 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 mm, angel snub number seven. And uh, I just had a little something, something I want to share with those who are the descendants of slaves born in America. Just a little something, something. And that something <laughs> is I was reading the book by uh, Brother Neely Fuller. The uh, I cannot, my pronunciation is probably all messed up, but it's the compensatory code dealing with white supremacy. And I would advise, I would advise. I would advise y'all to pick up that book, Neely Fuller's, uh, hold on, I can grab it real quick. There we go. Can you see that? The United Independent Compensatory Code System concept by Neely Fuller Jr. Neely Fuller Jr. I'm just really starting to uh, read this uh, book. It was sent to me by one of my wonderful friends and subscribers. Want to send a shout out to Sister Brenda Kearney. Got the book. Thank you, Sister. I really appreciate it. So from time to time, as I explore this book, I want to share some of the valuable information. Some of you probably are familiar with Brother Neely Fuller Jr. But I'm going to give it a reality's temple spin. And even before this morning, I was reading the book. Before I, I even got deep into what the brother was saying, he said something or wrote something that made me just stop. And uh, what he wrote or what he said in the book is that the white races, these Caucasian people, now get this, they are the smartest people in the known universe. Uh-oh. I know some of y'all not going to agree with that at all. So you're going to take my... Our, <laughs> It's upside down. You're going to take our brother's book and throw it to the side because in your mind, how dare he? How dare he say that the white man is the smart? He didn't, the brother did not say just in the United States. He did not say that the white man was the smartest in, in Africa or Asia or the planet Earth. Brother Neely Fuller said that the white man, the racist Caucasian people, are the smartest human beings in the known universe. Woo! Brother Neely, you got you had me going for a second. <clears throat> but then you have to think about what the brother is saying. Now, this is not to say. And brother's not telling us that he agrees that we are inferior because we are not and far from being an inferior. But I had to look at it this way. And it really is very simple. And you might not like it or not, but it's very simple. Because the first question that arises for those who want to debate and say, aha, that ain't no white people, no smartest, nothing. They uh, in the universe. I want to ask you something very, very simple. Who is controlling and who is ruling who? Are you ruling him? Or is he ruling you? It's quite that 
simple. And how long has he done this to you? For a very long time. Could he do this if he was dumb? If he was ignorant? He had to be pretty, pretty dang smart in order to control not only the descendants of slaves in America, but he actually is in control of the entire earth. And he is the only people on this planet that we know of that is anywhere close to going out into the universe. The brother said he is the smartest people in the known, he did not say the unknown, the known universe. And in other words, as far as we are concerned, he is the smartest. Until you prove and we prove that we are smarter and we have no evidence that we are smarter, you want to talk about technology and talk about Egypt. And you want to talk about some past stuff. Don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing at all. Because the reality of it is, you are under his control. He runs this entire planet, directly or indirectly. You cannot do that without being smart. The white racist people are so smart. They even change time because we know that human beings or civilizations have recorded time longer than 2012, but on our watches, on our calendars, whose time are we under? Are you under your time? Are we under Egyptian time, comedic time, or are we under the rule of a smart people who change time to make it to what they want based on their fictional character they created Jesus Christ so now it is the year 2012 and because his time is unnatural and out of balance they have to create a leap year because they leaped over real time so they gotta try to make up for what they uh, brought out of balance. But the brother is correct. They are the smartest people in the known universe. And they have not been challenged. And this is what makes them even more smart. Is that they have been able to take white supremacy, white racism, and they made it so it can transform and evolve into different, into, into something that looks different but the same. That's why y'all say black power family, black this, black that, nothing but white supremacy with with black coloration that's all that it is and even if the white race disappeared tomorrow the same thing the same mentality will still be here and then you and I with dark skin who now practice black supremacy we will become the smartest people in the known universe but smart and this is what the brother said. But smart don't make you wise. Because with all their uh, accomplishments, all their power and influence, instead of if they were wise, they would be a just people. And if the racist white people of the known universe, if they were a 
just, honorable people, then we would not, there would be no need for black power family because everybody would be treated with justice. But we have been mistreated. We have been exploited. We've been used. We've been murdered. We've been raped and robbed due to racial division. And black, those who are dark skinned from this continent they call Africa have been placed on the bottom. And the lighter you are as you travel up the ladder of white supremacy, the better you are off in this world built on injustice, built on favoritism towards a certain way a group of people look. Just because you are smart, and that's all that happens to you when you go to college, is you become smart. But smart don't make you wise because now, because you built a world based on injustice, look at all the problems you have. You cannot even enjoy the things you stole, the things you exploited. The forefathers of this nation knew a long time ago if they enslaved the Africans, they enslaved these dark people, they knew they was going to, the slaves sooner or later was going to be a problem. But they did not care. Let the future generations deal with it. We want the good life. We want to be served. We want to be pampered. You are smart, but they have the mentality of a child. A smart being smart, being a genius does not, having a high IQ does not make you wise. Look what a high IQ have done to this planet. There is no peace for no animal, no bird, no human being, nowhere ruled by those with a high IQ because they have a high IQ to cause trouble. And they use their talents for exploitation to bring in justice. So when a white man or a white woman brag talking about we so smart, high IQ. Yeah, that's true. But they are not wise. They are very foolish. And like in the black community, there's an old saying. A hard head makes a soft ass because most times we know we messing up. These white people, the ancestors of these white people knew they was messing up. But unfortunately for the children of these racist Caucasians, and some of them know, some of them know, many of them don't know. They don't know why they are suffering the consequences because your ancestors were smart. They were technological. They did build something great. But it was wickedly great. It was evil. It's horrible and a detriment to the life of human beings, to the life of this planet and everything they ever touched. So let us talk about this. The brother seems right on time. I'm going to continue to read this book by Brother Neely Fuller. The United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. Going to continue to get more wisdom from this brother. Y'all share what you know. And uh, I can tell you one thing. We're on our way to get this smart people on the, in the known universe. We're getting ready to get them off our back. If we are unlike them, if we are wise. Thank you for listening. This is your brother, Tali Gibbon Ra. This was and is. The Reality's Temple on Earth.